Hey guys, it's Erica from Seldom Saints, and in today's video, we are going to be talking about how to go to Google and take an image from Google and how to import it into Cricut Design Space and how to turn it into a cut file. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go into your internet browser, and we're going to type in Google. I use Google, whatever your search engine preferences, most people do use Google. You can use whatever you want. We are going to type in, let's do Disney Castle High Resolution Images. And let's see if anything comes up. Now, sometimes you're going to get images like this is way too detail orientated. This would be great for print and cut, but this isn't gonna convert. It's too many layers and too many colors. So these images will not be able to just be simply cut. So sometimes what I like to do is type in clip art. Clip art usually is a little bit simplified version. So there's all this, all these different ones. And I was looking, I wanted the Disney castle. So let's type in Disney castle. Okay, there's all kinds of images. I like this one right here. So I'm gonna right click on it and I'm gonna go to save image as. And we are going to just leave it that's fine, we'll leave it as unknown. And I had it saved on my desktop. I think that's where I saved it. Okay, so once it's downloaded, you're gonna want to go into Cricut Design Space. And then we're gonna go over here to the bottom left hand corner where it says upload and click on that and then we're going to go over here to upload image browse and find it on your wherever you saved it mine is right here we're going to click choose and then at this point we are going to click complex image you can click simple, but see how it kind of dulls the colors down? I always click complex. Then you're gonna go ahead and click continue, bottom right hand corner. So, let me zoom in. If you guys can see, there's this white background. We wanna get rid of that, otherwise it's just gonna cut a big huge square. So, to do that, we are going to click right up here where it says select and erase, click on that. And then you just simply click it anywhere on the white and see it disappears. Pretty neat, huh? Right here, you can see there's a white line in the background. Go ahead and click. Now it's gone right here again. White, now it's gone right here. Click and now it's gone. Now you can notice there's these four windows. We can go ahead and zoom in. Image does get a little pixelated looking. Okay, so then we can go ahead and click. And if you, it's real hard to see, but you just got rid of that one window. We can do that again for all four of the windows. Okay, they are all gone. So let's zoom back out. 
Okay, so now we have the image all cleaned up. And if you click preview, that's what it's gonna look like when it cuts. So that does look a little bit funky to me, the window. So I personally would just rather not have the windows. So I will show you how we can fix that. So we'll click continue and we're gonna save as cut image. And then we're gonna go here to the bottom right hand corner and we're gonna, we are going to click save. And we're gonna click that image right there and we're going to insert the image into design space. Okay, let's make this a little bit bigger and go ahead and zoom in. So like I had said, I wanted to fix the windows. They're a little bit funky and I'd rather just not have them. So what you can do is click on the image and then go to the bottom right hand corner right here where it says contour and go ahead and click that. This window is going to pop up and then you can click on, let's drag this over, the parts that you don't want. So right here is those four windows and they just kind of look funky. So we want to hide them. So you can simply click, click, and you can see over here, all these lines. So when you click on that, you can see that it's hiding this one. And this one right here, you can see over here, it's hiding that one. And we wanna leave those alone. We don't wanna hide those. But right here, if you see that one right there, that image has now been hidden. And so we wanna hide the rest of the windows. So by clicking on these, it's hiding the windows. Now all four of those windows are hidden. We can exit out of the screen right here. And now you can see there is no longer the windows. It's only going to cut out these two pieces right here. So you would just click, you would adjust it to the size you want. And it looks good to me. And then you just go to make it in the top right hand corner. And my Cricut's not connected right now. But at this point, it is a cut image. We can change the color so you can see it a little bit better as opposed to black. Okay, that makes it a little bit easier to see on the cutting mat. And you can see here's your image and this is exactly how it's gonna cut out. And that was simply an image from Google that we had downloaded. Remember, this is, this particularly isn't commercially, you need to contact the original artist to see how to obtain a commercial license if you want to sell these on any designs. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please do not forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you like watching videos like this. Also, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I will be making videos at least twice a week. Also, if you hit the notification bell, it notifies you when I will be making new, when I release new videos. All right, I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.